Hey, what's going on guys? Coming in here. So since the last video, I've changed a couple of tiny little things in the source code. So just give you the final version so you can see it on your own. Uh, just fix the bug of the engine trying to uh, put the stone into the... Uh, like uh, trying to make a suicide move. Uh, it avoids that and then generate, generates uh, the random one. And this kind of happened what was happening too often. So I've made... Of pieces a piece of code to actually weigh that but other than that uh it actually now seems to be completely playable well uh in regards to the strength well since the engine doesn't know anything about territory and only tries uh, the only thing it tries to do basically tries to surround your group of stones and capture it so it's more like playing capture go rather than the real go but anyway uh assuming the amount of code and ideas that we've taken so far that's not that bad at all and again uh, you know, like it's not my own invention. It's uh, it's the Wally program by Jonathan K. Millen that he made in 1981, and I think the strength and the playing style is pretty pretty similar to to that original program because it uh, kind of involves exactly the same ideas. Uh, the only difference I made that it just can't play for both sides, not only for whites. And original Wally was playing with uh, this nine stones handicap, and yeah, well if uh, you don't know if you're playing uh, the game of for the for, for the very first time, you shouldn't do this. But uh, I'm just beating it uh, every time, so I just give the, I just want to give him this handicap. So since he doesn't know anything about territory, it's still uh, kind of worse. But even though he doesn't know anything about territory, sometimes uh, he m might be making things like a living group of stones, and sometimes he even grabs some territory. Obviously, he doesn't know anything about this, but Anyway, so without further ado, let's actually uh, play a game versus Wally on 19 by 19 board. So he's playing black and we ask him to generate the move. And uh, since the first move is the random one, it's not always obviously, uh, it's not always the best. It's just the first move. So let's, yeah, now no, it's, it's a little bit better. And uh, let's start uh, invading, uh, invading the corner and see how far we can go with this all right so i'm trying to make a living group here and okay so well sometimes this happens when actually what he's trying to do uh he's trying to surround me you see like he's trying to surround this group of white stones he doesn't know that the next move it would get captured because it doesn't have uh, a, a look ahead being applied here in particular so here i can save the capture right uh, and the only handicap that he has, and, and, I mean like another handicap he has, he doesn't know about the co rule. So uh, if you try to co, he would co back uh, right straight away, and there is no way to prevent that. So co's are always in his favor. So that's another um, sort of a. Uh, so I can safely build my wall here, and okay, so he tries to uh, surround my my stone okay um somewhere he will already leave here so i'm pretty happy okay i'm pretty happy with this so it just just only not allow him to yeah sometimes uh because of the fact of trying to surround my group he actually makes this dumb moves so yeah it's not perfect but that's the way how it works so what else do I want to do? Okay, so, um, well, probably, yeah, you see, like, he breaks my, uh, he breaks my, uh, shape here, and, and again, so, yeah, sometimes, it, when it comes to fight, uh, sometimes, if you're not careful, uh, you can, uh, you can be, you can, you, you can really get into trouble, so, yeah, and, yes, unfortunately, like, he sometimes puts the stones to this uh to these illegal squares but on the other hand when, it, when it's about like uh, life and death problems which he doesn't know how to solve but he may eventually put a stone somewhere where exactly uh would, would be exactly to his favor well that's that's almost random but anyway all right so let's now infiltrate let's let's now invade another uh another corner here all right so, so like uh, here, what he actually does, he he tries to defend his group, 
uh, and it has the side effect of actually trying to build some territory. So, well, initially this might be treated as sort of a bug, but as far as it looks so cool that he actually tries to sort of build this territory, like not not he doesn't know anything about jumps or night moves or whatever. So just would it be going like this uh, for some time. So I, I just decided that it would be fun to leave this as is. So and now at the moment he's sort of trying to build some territory, uh, which is which is fun. You see, like he's trying to build some territory there. So, see, like just keeps building the territory. So yeah, it's almost random, but uh, it's really it's incredibly fun to play especially if you're a beginner. So if, if we're, we will talk about measuring its strength, well, I would say this is somewhere around 30Q, so the, the, the lowest possible rank. And, well, it's just slightly better than the random mover, just a little bit better. So yeah, um, that's, that's kind of it. So like this. And yeah, <laughs> so it's like what it does here is trying to sort of a grab the territory there okay uh can i well i i, I don't I, I just don't want to touch him let, let, let him let him grab some territory i don't mind if it takes a little bit of a territory there so yeah he just protects his uh, he, he he protects the stone which is good okay and he keeps going and i'm just wondering what is it, what is it going to be doing next okay yeah all right extends okay yeah, if it tries to enclose th this part, I would be absolutely happy. Just really wondering if you actually so give him a stone. Nope, I don't want to. Okay, I don't want to give him a stone. Um, yeah, now I need to make a living shape here. Okay, and now you see like already, well, it, it does something. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, it's so cool. Um, but he actually does something here. Uh, so I will now try to. Okay, so he. he uh, okay, uh, I just. I wait touching this stone. So I just really want to see if he would actually be able to, to grab some territory. That would be really fun. So if I just go here, here, or here, it would start, start defending. So I don't want that. I, instead, I just go for. Uh, Trying to invade here, okay. Uh, well, it doesn't doesn't enclose this for some reason. Well, maybe it doesn't have to, but anyway. Okay. Oh man, he's trying to capture my group of stones. I need to be careful about that. Okay. And yeah, this was a blunder. This was a real blunder. So, okay. And okay, you didn't see this, right? Did you? Did you? Okay. Mm, how about this? Okay. So yeah, not having a look ahead is obviously kind of not that great, really. And yeah, he often makes these dumb moves like within uh, within your own territory, just because he's trying uh, to, to surround your groups. He doesn't know that there is a territory. So yeah, it's a little bit of a downside. But again, we are playing Go. Well, it's hard to call. It's hard to say that we're playing the game of Go, um, but uh, you know, like when I play this program, uh, I feel like uh, I feel like if I if I've been playing a kid uh, who has just learned to play, uh, who's not serious about the game, who's just trying to have some fun. So yeah, maybe uh, that is something like that. And you say like, quite a fun thing that. Even, even, even dis despite his miserable algorithms, just to s uh, surround or extend, eventually this uh, results in forming a sort of a territory, which is really interesting. So uh, we can have the estimate here. Uh, so let's, for instance, see the estimate, and actually, actually, the estimate gives plus five to black. So uh, <laughs> is, uh, uh, if, he was, if he knew what he's doing, actually, he could be potentially better here. All right, so let's, let's keep playing, basically. So um, what, did, what do I want to do now? So yeah, let's try to surround this group first. Okay. So you know, it's really cool to, if you don't know anything about Go, 
and if you're just learning the rules of the game and some very very basic things it might be incredibly fun to play it I believe it, it should be fun you know like uh, if you're losing to everyone in Go and uh, I just started a couple of weeks ago I know how, how that feels uh, so if you're losing to everyone uh, it's really it might be really fun to play with this program you just feel that there is at least someone that you can beat so yeah that could have made sense at some point all right that could have made sense uh, so let's go okay he, he captures yeah that was a blunder so it doesn't he doesn't forgive the blunders like that so he just captured my stone okay now this is getting really interesting so what is he doing q5 defense a sort of defensive moves not sure what is he doing but this is getting really interesting um yeah, starts being laggy for some reason. I'm not, I'm not sure why exactly is that happening, but yeah, let's see. Let's see where we go next. It's really fun. It's like you're playing a kid who doesn't care about, who just enjoys putting the stones on the board. That feels like that. And eventually, you see, like, uh, he almost made a living group. <laughs> without even knowing about what the living group is so this is quite fun uh, I'm wondering can I actually yeah probably I can't even capture this so I can try to I can try to uh, surround it like this wondering if I still can force him well actually yes here okay what a fantastic move what a fantastic move bravo wally uh what a fantastic move uh again i guess sort of sort of a defensive one uh i don't know I, i'm excited i'm excited because if, 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 if all this behavior feels a little bit buggy yes yes i need to admit that but when you play it actually turns out that he kind of created a living shape. Well, almost, almost living shape here. Actually, it's no longer living. Uh, because, yeah, after, for instance, this move. Um, or, well, at le well, actually, it escapes. So, yeah, it doesn't have two eyes, but it kind of escapes. And if he just uh, uh, makes here, uh, uh, puts the stones here, probably he won't. But if he did, then generally his shape uh, looks like something. And assuming the miserable miserable amount of knowledge that he has this feels really really interesting now i would even get my stones captured so these stones are going to get captured you see like I, I i can't really do nothing about that so yeah he captured my stones okay i'm about to capture his group okay and yes unfortunately for him but yeah that was brutal I know the reason for why why he makes this uh, almost suicide moves is because it just tries to surround me uh, so yeah it's it's not a bug it's just the lack of uh, it's just the lack of the knowledge that he has okay all right yeah just getting a little bit laggy for some reason well, not exactly sure why is that happening, but so what was random move? Ah, oh, yeah, this is just going for random moves at some point. Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, it's not, not really perfect. So let's have a look at the estimate one more time. White plus 50, but still, even still, I think that it's kind of kind of good enough for him already. So, yeah, I think. I just dropped here for now so yes I think I think it's just enough to <laughs> to give an idea of his playing style and playing well it's not strength really but but anyway it's incredibly fun so thanks for following this series and yeah um maybe the, the not the most outrageous program out there but uh, Assuming the fact that, like, bear in mind the fact that 
This like program was running in 1981 on Kim1, unextended Kim1 computer with only one uh, one kilobyte one K of RAM. That's really amazing. So that was uh, that was implemented way more elegant than I did in Python here, but it tried to mm, kind of be stick into the original implementation to the pseudocode that I've taken from from that Byte magazine for April 1981, like being described within the series. So mm, it's you to judge, guys, basically on the end result. But I personally feel absolutely happy about this. And I really felt like uh, I needed to walk through these steps in order to realize uh, why actually neural networks are being used in order to make some serious programs. Because, yeah, obviously we can hard code the moves, hard, hard code the knowledge, like uh, don't put stone here, for instance. If we had a simple look ahead in that case, uh, it, it kind of would realize that next move or even next several moves, it would just get captured there. So that could be the case of like not like avoiding this absolutely dumb moves. And we could have hard code some knowledge in regards to territory. But as the experience shows, like even the GNU, GNU Go program, uh, it's around 5Q strength. So it's around some, somewhere around 1600s LO, uh, if we're talking from the chess, uh, like LO rating perspective. So it's quite miserable. So like uh, a professional player, even the lowest rank, like first Dan, professional player would easily be that program. So it takes tons of time and effort to, lots of time and effort to invest in order to make that, but still it would be easily bitten. So uh, hence the neural networks as like alternate approach that, uh, as we know, AlphaGo bit listed all. And yeah, so that's the brand new way to go with Go. And that's the next big, a very kind of big, uh, sort of a topic that I'm, I want to learn myself. I, I have no idea how that is, how that works. Just very, very vague you understand it. So I want to go there. And uh, I just needed to <laughs> come up with this tiny little experience to see like uh, what's the most miserable play in Go, like uh, a slightly better than the random mover. How, how is that possible? But again, if you just take a 9x9 board, for instance, and try to play without knowing how you should play Go, then you might get crushed. So yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that might be really interesting, really fun to play with. Well, okay, guys, this is it from my side. So hopefully see you next time. Until then, and take care.